Welcome back to John's Films, where I've been benchmarking the free edition of DaVinci Resolve 18. I want to know how many cores do we need to have in our CPU for clean playback in our timeline and reasonable render times. Let's jump in and look at the results. For those of you scrubbing ahead for the charts, here we are. I'll come to you first. This is the render charts. You'll learn this doesn't really matter that much. And you notice I run two benchmarks per core configuration. One, the H.264 benchmark is the native benchmark. That one primarily runs in the CPU, and that's why you see core scaling from 16 to 4 cores taking longer. In fact, this is a chart in seconds, and you can see 4 cores takes over 20 minutes to execute. However, in the free edition of Resolve early this year, Grant Petty and the team enabled H.265 hardware accelerated encoding only in render for free. And therefore, you'll notice there is not that much variance between a 10 minute render across each of these configurations when utilizing that because it is using a hardware accelerated chip in my graphics card called an NVENC chip on the NVIDIA side. And that's why even at four cores, it only took 10 minutes and 38 seconds, while at 16, it took nine minutes and 38 seconds. Because of this, and because H.265 renders at a better quality than H.264 for a smaller footprint, I consider render a wash. What really matters when we're talking about the number of cores we're executing in the free edition of Resolve is timeline playback. So let's take a look at each of these. How did they play back in the timeline? As you can see, it's a little bleached because Windows automatically turned on the auto HDR setting and my screen capture shows a washed out footage. However, these are all playing the same thing with the same render, so it's still a valid test. Notice each of these starts with the same scene at a real estate shoot I did. As we play back through these, you'll start to notice that they generally keep up with each other. And that's because I have not turned on stop if drop frame. Instead, what I'm doing is just letting it play ahead and Resolve will try and keep up with the same time code. In fact, while I'm playing back, it generally shows every one of these rendering at 30 frames a second. However, as you can see, 16 cores is a heck of a lot smoother than six or four cores. And that's because it is rendering more of the frames, especially as we get through some of these transitions, which can create havoc in the CPU. Note, none of this playback is accelerated by the GPU's integrated hardware acceleration chip. Instead, every bit of this decode is being done in the CPU. Additionally, the 8K H.265 decoding proves particularly painful off the Nikon Z9 for the 4, 6, and 8 cores, while 16 and 12 still stumbling and aren't exactly something I'd like to edit against. It's doable, especially if you were to cut down your timeline resolution, use your playback caching, etc. But it is not an ideal experience. Something to note on these results, I'll be doing my next video on the M1 iMac running the same benchmark compared to the same scores. So make sure to subscribe so that you catch that. Moving into the Fusion work, you can see most of these get by just fine, at least relative to the 16 core. They drag a little, but frankly, I don't think Fusion is optimized for multi-threading quite as much as we might like. Finally, we end up with a celebration for DaVinci Resolve 18's release. Each of these is able to deal with the confetti with the green screen overlay and the Delta Keyer cleaning up. As you can see in render, it's not really that important because the H.265 export is now enabled for hardware acceleration in the free edition. Then with only timeline performance being the concern, you can see that 16 cores is four cores too many for even the top level of performance. After that, you have to look at eight cores and wonder, is that amount of timeline smoothness truly worth it? I think 12 cores does look to be the sweet spot, but on a budget, eight cores seems like it's gonna work just fine. 